And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Cenonathus or Canonathus. But if you've been listening to this whole episode, we kind of keep defaulting back to Cenonathus, so that's probably what I'm going to stick with. <laughs> yep. This was a request from Crow via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. Cenonathus was a Cenonathid over Raptorosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Alberta, Canada, found in the Dinosaur Park Formation. It was large, may have been about as big as Anzu, although now we know Anzu probably got bigger, so. <laughs> At least a couple percent bigger. <laughs> yeah. It did look similar to Anzu, looked bird-like with feathers and long legs. It also had a long tail and S-shaped neck and probably had a crest on its head. It's thought to be around the same size as Anzu because of the known specimens of Anzu and St. Anathus. The pubes are about the same size. And for reference, Anzu was about 11 feet or three and a half meters long. At least this is pre these, this SVP talk. Anzu, of course, was probably a bit larger. Cenonathus is estimated to weigh up to 212 pounds or 96 kilograms. It had a long, flattened, toothless lower jaw. As Garrett mentioned, Cenonathids all had the toothless jaws. It had a shallow jaw, which is different from other oviraptorosaurs that are more, it's like an upturned beak. And that might mean that Cenonathus ate more plants. Cenonathids in general were probably generalist feeders that ate plants and small animals, maybe eggs. The fossils of Cenonathus found include lower jaws, a tail vertebra, and bones from the hand and limbs. The type species is Cenonathus collinsi. The genus name means recent jaw, and the species name is in honor of the late Dr. W.H. Collins, quote, for many years director of the Geological Survey of Canada. Cenonathus was described by R.M. Sternberg in 1940, and at first it was thought to be a toothless bird. The jaws were found in 1936, and then it was named Cenonathus, and Sternberg wrote that, quote, the holotype is an admirably preserved lower jaw, complete except for the ventral border of the right ramus. Admirably preserved. Yes, I liked that phrasing. That was the main reason I quoted that. But again, we're just working with the lower jaw. <laughs> an admirable lower jaw. <laughs> I guess if all you have is a lower jaw, it's nice that it's admirable. Yeah. The holotype was found in the summer of 1936 by a field party from the National Museum of Canada under the direction of C.M. Sternberg. In 1988, a different specimen that had been in storage since 1923 was rediscovered and studied, and that helped link several fragments of an oviraptorosaur into one dinosaur, Chirostenodes, which we covered in episode 404. There's a lot of debate and subsequent studies finding Kyrus Denodes and Cenonathus to be separate. In 2010, Phil Center did a phylogenetic analysis of Solurosauria and found Cenonathus and Kyrus Denodes to definitely be separate, quote, casting doubt on their synonymy. Then more complete Cenonathid specimens were found in 2014 and 2015, like the discovery of Anzu, and that helped show even more differences in these fragmentary specimens. In 2015, Funston and others re-examined Cenonathid fossils from Dinosaur Park Formation and found more Cenonathus collinsi fossils, including a tail vertebra, femur, and parts of the feet. Funston and Curry in 2020 described another Curus denodes specimen with a lower jaw, and that helps support that Curus denodes and Cenonathus are separate. There's some differences in the feet and the toes between them. In 2020, Gregory Funston re-examined Cenonathid material and redescribe Cenonathus collins I, and there's some disagreement over the diversity of Cenonathids. One of the specimens in the study was at least 12 years old and nearly done growing, so it probably grew quickly at first and then slowed down. In 1993, Phil Curry and others named, in quotes, Cenonathus sternbergi, based on new specimens found in the Judith River Formation, but a 2014 analysis found that to be a sister taxon. So again, we just have the one and only type species, Cenonathus collinsi. Now, other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as Cenonathus include ankylosaurs, ceratopsians, ornithopods, pachycephalosaurs, ornithomimids, oviraptorosaurs, paravians, and tyrannosaurs. And other animals, in addition to dinosaurs, that lived around the same time and place include amphibians, crocodilians, lizards, plesiosaurs, pterosaurs, turtles, mammals, and fish. 
For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.